An equestrian battle kicks off week five between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. Both of these teams are struggling big time on offense, with Indy taking an even bigger hit with the loss of Jonathan Taylor this week. The Broncos finally came down to earth after starting out 2-1 last week after their loss against the Raiders. We're taking the Broncos to win this week by four. Though he hasn't done much, Jonathan Taylor's absence will be felt. The spread to take here is Broncos minus 3.5. Sunday's games begin with an early morning tilt between the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers in London. This will be the ultimate test for the Giants as many questions are asked about their 3-1 record due to a light early season schedule. The Packers continue to win games by shifting their focus towards the run game. We're going with the Packers in this one to win by 10. New York's defense is great but their offense is still their Achilles heel. Our suggestion on the spread is Packers minus 7.5. Looks like the Mitchburg era has come to an end, as Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Buffalo Bills. The Steelers are hoping to get some sort of spark going on offense, but a rookie QB facing one of the best defenses in the NFL is going to be very tough. With that said, we're taking the Bills by a big margin, by 20. If Pickett had a few games under his belt, it'd be closer, but this is going to be tough for the Steelers. The spread to take here is Bills minus 14. The Los Angeles Chargers versus the Cleveland Browns. After a rough start to the season, the Chargers seem to have gotten their season back on track after last week's win against the Texans. Meanwhile, the Browns are in a decent spot, but need to close out games a lot better. We're picking the Chargers to win this game by five. Cleveland loses a lot of close games, so we expect it to be within one possession. Our suggestion on the spread is Chargers minus two and a half. AFC South battle between the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Texans are the only team in the NFL yet to win a game, while the Jaguars, as good as they've looked, lost to the Philadelphia Eagles last week. This week, we're taking the Jaguars to win by four. The Texans have lost only one game by more than one possession this year. Since we believe it'll be close, Texans plus seven is the safer pick. NFC North matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. Don't count out the Vikings, who currently stand at three and one after last week's narrow victory. The Bears, on the other hand, need a lot of things going for them, despite them starting 2-2. Two two. This week, we're going with the Vikings to win by 8. The Bears' defense might make it tough here and there, but their offense will significantly hold them back. Our suggestion on the spread is Vikings minus 7. The high-powered Detroit Lions offense faces the stout defense of the New England Patriots. Detroit's defense has been the biggest reason why they're 1-3, but hopefully things might be easier this week against the Patriots team who may have to start their third-string quarterback. Our pick this week is the Lions by four. This game probably won't be as high-scoring as last week's Seahawks-Lions game, giving Detroit a better chance to win this game. The spread to take here is Lions plus three and a half. The Seattle Seahawks versus the New Orleans Saints. Geno Smith has filled in very nicely at quarterback, completing a record 77% of his passes his first four games. The Saints are off to a disappointing start, after being touted as a surprise NFC South contender. The magic for Geno Smith might come to an end this week, as we're picking the Saints to win by three. The Saints defense is still one of the better ones in the league. Our suggestion on the spread is Seahawks plus five and a half. The Miami Dolphins versus the New York Jets. A lot of controversy this week surrounding the Dolphins, but as Tyreek Hill stated, it doesn't matter if it's Teddy Bridgewater or anyone else that's throwing him the ball. He's still going to pop off. The Jets came back and beat the Steelers in Zach Wilson's first game this season. Might surprise some people with this pick, but I'm liking the Jets to win by two. The loss of Tua Tagovailoa will have a bigger impact than we may think. The spread to take here is Jets plus three. One of these teams leads the NFC South, and it's not who you think. The Atlanta Falcons versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Falcons have exceeded expectations thus far, while the Bucs looked good enough to be a playoff team, but don't look to be one of the best in the league. This is the week that the Bucks get back on track. We're taking Tampa Bay to win by 14 because Tom Brady has all of his weapons healthy. The spread to take here is the Buccaneers minus nine. The Tennessee Titans versus the Washington Commanders. Don't be surprised if this ends up being a high scoring game as both secondaries have plenty of holes. After starting 0-2, the Titans have pulled off two straight wins while the Commanders are just looking to get some momentum at this point. We like the Titans in this matchup to win by four. Washington is decent against the run, but can easily be exposed in the pass. Our suggestion on the spread is Titans minus two and a half. 
the San Francisco 49ers versus the Carolina Panthers. A statement win last week against the Rams proved that the 49ers defense is tough to beat. That's bad news for the Carolina offense, who still can't get anything going at this point. And because of that, we're picking the 49ers to win by 8. It's hard to envision the Panthers scoring often in this game. The spread to take here is 49ers minus 6.5. The 4-0 Philadelphia Eagles versus the Arizona Cardinals. Philly continues to dominate on offense and defense. The Cardinals have been in a deficit at halftime in every game this season. This is one of those opponents where you can't afford to be down early. But we still believe it's going to happen and we're taking the Eagles to win by 7. It continues to be a long stretch for the Cardinals while DeAndre Hopkins is out. Our suggestion on the spread is Eagles minus 5.5. The Dallas Cowboys versus the Los Angeles Rams. Cooper Rush is now 4-0 as the Cowboys starter, complemented by an amazing defense. The Rams' offense to open the season has all been Cooper Cup, with even Matthew Stafford struggling against the best defenses. It's going to be another difficult one this week, but we're still taking the Rams to win by two. We expect the Rams' offense to struggle, but don't count out the Rams' defense stepping up this week. The spread to take here is Cowboys plus 5.5. Sunday Night Football, the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Baltimore Ravens. Cincinnati is slowly digging themselves out of the hole they were in early in the season. The Ravens are better than the record shows and will continue to get better with no more teams above 500 left on their schedule. And this is the beginning of the Ravens' remarkable stretch, as we're taking them to win by four. We can't overlook at Lamar Jackson playing at an MVP level. Our suggestion on the spread is Ravens minus three. And finally, Monday Night Football, the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The Raiders won their first game last week with the help of a workhorse running back in Josh Jacobs. The Chiefs continue to dominate and show that they belong in the same tier as the Eagles and the Bills when discussing the best teams in the NFL. We're going to ride with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs to win by 10. Both offenses will be on full display, but the Raiders will have difficulty keeping up with the Chiefs. Our suggestion on the spread is Chiefs minus seven and a half. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and give me a follow on Twitter as well, at It's Hassan Khan. We'll love to chat with everyone during the games.